Good morning, everybody. I really hope that you are well. I hope that you enjoyed our first Devo in our Stuck in the Mud series last week. For those of you who didn't catch it, a quick recap. We spoke about how we all go through these seasons or these times in our Christian lives where we feel stuck in the mud. We feel like we're not moving forward. We're not growing. We feel dry, far away from God, disconnected from Him. Um, but then we reminded ourselves of what the Bible has to say, and we reminded ourselves that it was God who saved us. If you're a follower of Jesus, it's God's work to save you. And Philippians 1 verse 6 tells us that it's also his job, if he starts a work in you, to complete the work that he starts in you. So in other words, God is the one responsible for saving you, but he's also the one responsible for keeping you, for growing you, for forming Christ in you, making you more and more like Jesus. But what if you're listening today or you listened last week and you feel like, hold on a minute, you're talking about God starting a work in our lives but I'm starting to doubt whether he actually has started a work in my life. You're talking about being stuck in the in the mud. But what if I feel like I was never even on the road to begin with? Like I'm starting to doubt that, that, that I'm even a Christian. Like I feel far away from God. I, I don't feel intimate with him. I don't, I, I don't know if, if I'm really in him. I don't know if I'm really saved by him. I don't know if I'm really adopted as his child into his family. Well, if that's you, I firstly want to encourage you by saying that the very fact that you are saying things like that is evidence for me that God is at work in your life. And if you feel like you haven't crossed the line of faith, I believe based on the, the way that this bothers you, that God is nudging you closer and closer to a time when you can cross that line of faith. Now, it is not a bad thing to be asking those kinds of questions. Am I really a Christian? In fact, there's this verse in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, which tells us as Christians that we should test ourselves to see whether we really are in the faith, whether we really are followers of Jesus. So, how do you know if you are? How do you know if your faith, your saving faith in Jesus is authentic? How do you know if you're really in? Well, this can be a difficult question to answer because we're all on our own journey. For some people, becoming a Christian is a process that happens over years. And you can't really pinpoint that moment when you crossed the line and you became a Christian. For others, it is a moment kind of thing. It's just like the lights come on and it's just this moment where you fall on your knees before God and you cry out for forgiveness and you receive him into your life. The other reason it's a difficult question to answer is because it's very hard to see the motives of people's hearts. However, having said that, I want to say that if you know in your heart today that you are broken and sinful, that you don't have all your stuff together, that over the course of your life, you've rebelled against God through sinful behavior. He has not been the Lord and the King of your life. You've relied on other things, worshiped other things. But if you've, you've got to that place and you've come to Jesus, acknowledging that he is the only way to be forgiven, to be saved, to be connected to God. If you've come to Jesus and you've said, God, I'm a mess, I'm broken, I'm sinful. I look at my life and I fall short of you. And I'm sorry. And I believe today, even if I feel like my faith is small, I believe today that you exist, 
I believe that you came to this earth for me because you love me and you died on a cross that I deserve to die on for my sin. And an exchange took place. You took on my sin to forgive me and I take on your righteousness, your perfection. So now I'm seen as holy and perfect and right in God's eyes. And, and I believe, Jesus, that you not only died, but you also were raised to life again. And that it guarantees me relationship and life with God and eternal life in heaven. Now, that sounds like a lot, but what I'm trying to say is if you've got to that place in your life, the Bible says that if we confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that Jesus is Lord, we will be saved. So based on, on that position, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that you have crossed that line of faith. You will also, over time, be able to see fruit in your life if you genuinely are one of God's children. Others will be able to see fruit in your life. What kind of fruit? Well, in Galatians 5, we read about this list of fruit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control. Maybe I missed one. I don't know. But what I'm saying is over time, if you really are in God and God is in you, like we said last week, you can't get stuck. God will keep you moving forward and growing. And so there will be growing fruit in your life. People will be able to see a love in you and a joy and a, and a peace in a chaotic world. You'll grow in loving God and loving others. So, so if you haven't got to a place where A, you are broken over your sin and have called out to Jesus for forgiveness, and B, if you don't see much growth in your life and others don't see it, and you can ask people, they'll be able to tell you, then I would say, hmm, you need to ask yourself whether you really have come to understand who Jesus is and what he's done for you and who you are. You see, in a way, this devotion isn't really targeted at people who are not followers of Jesus because people who are not followers of Jesus would not be signing into this thing, subscribing to this thing, watching this thing. They don't need Jesus in their life. So again, if you're watching this, that's a great encouragement to me because it tells me that there's a hunger in you for more. This devotion is for people like you who feel like you need an encouragement. You need a reminder. It might also be, in fact, it is for those of you who maybe think you are Christians and, and you probably are, but it's also for you guys just because it's a good reminder to test ourselves to see whether we are in the faith. Now, my encouragement to you is that whoever you are in whatever space you're in, after this devotion, to go into your room, to close your door, and just to sit with God. And allow God to, to search your heart. Allow God to bring to mind your brokenness and your sin. Confess it to Him. Tell Him how it makes you feel. And then think about Jesus on the cross, hanging there, paying the price for that sin. And think about his face as he looks at you in this moment, declaring you forgiven because you've put your trust in him. Saying to you, I love you, my child. You are clean in my sight. I'm for you. I'm working in your life. I love you. My prayer for you this morning is that you believe that God is at work in your life and that he will finish the work that he started. He won't keep you feeling stuck. He will move you forward. He will grow you even through suffering and wintry seasons and the times that you turn from him. He'll carry on his work until the day that you meet him face to face in heaven when all will be well. And we will taste joy and intimacy like none other on earth. I hope this has been an encouragement to you. Looking forward to the rest of our series. 
Cool guys, enjoy Globus Week. Ciao.